So once upon a time, he had once been running to Antonio Banderas. But when we didn't get Antonio Banderas... Well, uh, actually, yeah, let, let, let's talk about that for a sec, because in the original script, yes, he had been running to get Antonio Banderas to come to sing at his girlfriend at the wedding where his girlfriend was a flower girl. This was going to be his big romantic gesture. So he started running from uh, seeing her name on the A and E sign, and then instead of running to the directly to the wedding, uh, wedding, he ran to try to get Antonio Banderas. Now, once we didn't get Antonio Banderas to do the role, we wrote a role for a bartender at the Carlisle, who would be. Uh, surprisingly like Antonio Banderas. <laughs> <laughs> and he and would give him some lessons in gives love. Gives him similar <laughs> advice about how to be... How there would be others. How there would be other women and how he would have perspective on this one day that he would learn. And it was a cute scene. And in our very first cut, we had it in. But truthfully, everyone was like, why are we going and running to go see this bartender? It's I not mean the it same as running to go see Antonio. No, Banderas. and he was running to get lost in Harris to play a, at at the wedding. But when he found only the bartender, you know, even as we were shooting it, and it's a rare thing, but you're sitting on the set and you're like, why are we shooting this scene? As much as I like this guy and his performance is good and moment to moment funny, and the best part is his final narration in many ways where he does an imitation of the bartender, we knew that, that it was extraneous to the story and probably not going to be in the final picture. But he ran to her But anyway. nonetheless, <laughs> now he's running to the park and running to her uh, and making the same decision he made without the scene. That's a good clue that you don't need the yes. scene. Yes, when you have two running twos. 